Now you came right to the video just to answer this question. How can you win in rock, paper, scissors? And believe it or not, we're starting right now. Hey guys, Dark and Mythic and um, welcome to another video. So, I mean, I know I'm here in Minecraft, but today's not a Minecraft video. Today's more of a life skill or, you know, a cool cool tricks you know on how you win on nothing else than rock paper scissors so first of all there is some things that we need to take consideration I mean in your life you might use rock paper scissors a lot I mean you know to win things or you know it's just going to be a big part so let's dive in on how you can win in this game so I mean I have two dudes here um they look they look um I I'll just call you Dark Man 1 and Dark Man 2 right and let's just use these two pre pre persons as you know real people right so one thing you need to know the first thing you want to do when you are in the middle of the match is show confidence right show that you can do it and show that you are going to win now why would you want to cho show this confidence so as you can see this is a person that has confidence and this is a person that has no confidence so just by showing your strong parts which is of course again your confidence you're just going to weaken them up and you're just going to leave them like a stick right so they're not having confidence will greatly increases your chance of winning because you're technically putting them in a stage where they just don't know what to do so when you're in a rock paper scissors match make sure to be confident to be calm right and you know just don't say it, like just show it right so now i have two tricks to show you um one of them is just, you know, if you are starting a match. And then there's another trick that I can show you, which will be really hard to master. But if you're good, if you're really, really good, I promise that you can win in rock, paper, scissors every single time. It does going to take quite time to practice. So, you know, if you have family or friends, you can use them as a practice, right? But here's the first trick. And this is just if you're playing around of like, three right so one of the first things you want to do right before you start playing is you want to ask them a question now here's my question mark and yes you want to ask them a question but now why would you want to just ask a question to them like why right so the reason you want to ask them a question right is just to get their head out that they're playing rock paper scissors right literally when you do that you're just putting them to think right so it's either you're thinking on the question or you're thinking on rock paper scissors right so believe it or not just by asking a question it puts you even two times more stronger and you know now you have more of the advantage that you used to have right so just by doing that you're technically um, you know making them think making them think something else now what you want to do is do not let them answer the question right as soon as you ask them just wait like three seconds and right after you ask that question you want to start the match now believe it or not they are going to choose scissors now why are they going to choose scissors right after you ask the question first of all it's because scissors is really common in rock paper scissors right like it's just really common but it's also for something else and that is that scissors is the easiest muscle you can move first of all that's because you only move two fingers right and believe it or not when you play rock paper scissors the first thing you always plan without even knowing is scissors right unless you know that you want to put rock but unconsciously you usually put scissors so that is your signal that you want to put a rock because again rock beats scissors 
and just do that for like the second and third time and I swear it might work take a little bit of practice master it and you soon just turn into a rock paper scissors championship but now you just want to go beyond and surprise someone that you can beat them each and every single time so pretty much by the third time they're going to know your trick right but here is the next trick that you can master and it's quite a hard one so you know you want to take quite a lot of practice so now what is that technique so again we have our two people here facing each other now he knows that you're showing confidence you're asking them questions but now this trick is really really hard but again if you take practice you can master it and just be a championship so usually based usually people take about one they take about 1.5 seconds in order to put their fingers out so yes it sounds a little bit weird you're like one you're like five seconds i mean you're like 1.5 seconds yes they take approximately 0.5 seconds to put you know their fingers out rock paper scissors now what you want to do and here's the trick and where you got to listen right is to see if you can find what they put before you put your fingers right so it takes them approximately from 1.5 seconds right but usually at 0.5 seconds they start to give you the signals of what they are about to put right so as soon as you say shoot or scissors or whatever you say at last right at 0.5 seconds they either stay with the rock so you know which means you're going to put the rock they try to they put like one finger indicating they are going to put scissors right and usually that's the index fingers or they raise their thumb and they kind of take all their fingers out which means they're probably going to put paper right so if you can find what they put in the 0.5 seconds you're just going to be way ahead of the game because then that means you're going to have a one full second to put your hand out right so that is how you can win on rock paper scissors it is a very very hard technique and I know a lot of y'all should be like hey why am I doing this on Minecraft that's because I don't have a face cam so if you subscribe you might help me later on buying myself a face cam or you know at least where I can show my fingers and show you exactly how to do that right so for now this is the end of the video um, I usually do Minecraft content so make sure to subscribe to the channel and if you are interested in minecraft click now on the video to make if you want to know how to do a pumpkin face halloween house super fun to build super cool to build and again we'll see you on the channel next time so goodbye <laughs>